गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन स्टूडेंट्स एंड स्कॉलर्स लर्नर्स एंड लिसनर्स प्रोफेशनल्स एंड प्रोफेसर्स professionals and officials those who belong to the field of science spirituality arts commerce and engineering the most honorable prime minister saint dr narendra modi ji availability of the ministers and doctors respected mothers and fathers affectionate sons and daughters i dr rakesh from usa welcome all heartily cordially appreciate admire praise such personalities those who are present among with us really it is very valuable time place and action that we are listening the truth of science and spirituality it is really remarkable moment of life i thank god for his presence everywhere every time with us he is always present with us he who is omnipresent omnipresent omniscient omnipotent he who is the creator caretaker and destroyer he who is always present everywhere with us in the form of air fire soil sky and water even where there is no availability of these five elements he does exist as per the notion of our the most respected greatest personality in the form of social reformer he was not only the social reformer but he was multi dimensional multi sided and multi faceted personality he who is known forever with us who always inspired us motivated us and encouraged us to do something greater better nicer finer for our society and nation our present prime minister who is the ardent believer and staunch follower of swami vivekananda who addressed the whole nation about the celibacy and renunciation power of indian culture when he went outside in the different countries he addressed by his soul or spirit unknown are better than known it is the theory which was adopted by applied by and implemented by the different starters initiators beginners of the missions they were unknown for the worldly people they were unknown for the world but later on when they did milestone and landmark in their history then the whole world became their followers the whole world came under their guidance and supervision by their directions informations instructions our nation is ruling 
we are feeling their presence in the form of air fire indian air indian fire indian soil indian sky and indian water we are the lover of indian motherland who does not love his country who does not want to live with his soul or spirit all the re religious social political reformers who came first on this land and who are being followed by the predecessors and successors they still exist today with us in all the functions in all festivals and in all kind of programs they are always with us whenever we celebrate any function any festival they play their part they become the part of that program because they are always exist with us their existence shows the presence of god almighty who never goes away from us he who was he who is and he who will in past present and future but only those feel his presence those who keep their mind in present 100% by keeping our presence of mind in 100% present then we feel that ecstatic joy that elixir of god which is reverberatory permanent unchangeable and stable in our life the things and objectives that we are finding outside in the world all the things are available with us but it requires the repetition of the holy words of god by the repetition by meditation of the holy words it is said in the medical science that meditation is the super medication so we must follow them our old doctors directors instructors ministers advocates judges lawyers the personalities those who belong to the field of judiciary executive and any ministry they are the staunch believer of these things they know the value of our culture they do daily yoga dhyana asana pranayama by the coordination and combination of these all events we reach at the height of attaining the spiritual pleasures permanent pleasures which can be felt by a layman by a common man simple man general man who lives in the society while doing his daily works while doing their daily routine works they can feel the presence of that superb matchless incomparable and unique powers of god about which our sense says power is life weakness is death so weakness means not only it is not only the demerit but it is also become achievement of any person if he become polite he devote and dedicate himself towards that supernatural power of god then that weakness faults shortcomings drawbacks can be changed these things can be transformed into the powerful changer powerful transformer powerful reformer returner as 
our history literature is the evident having a pro great proof of such persons those autobiographies which we study now from the different type of text they provide us a number of virtues qualities sympathies compassion humanity humanistic attitude brotherhood so these values moral values spiritual values religious values political values economical values all kind of values are restored in our banks of values we have generated operated and developed a number of banks as in medical science they store different type of parts internal organs for helping others for the downtrodden rejected dejected handicapped people like that for storing and restoring the human values manly values that are inborn with us we can keep them safe which is the bank that is our school colleges and universities about which swami vivekananda says if you want to see the bank balance or budget of our nation then you can deposit you can submit you can receive you can withdraw which is the bank which is that bank that banks are our spiritual school spiritual universities and spiritual colleges that are established with their high motive objective and ambition the establishers starters organizers thought that the futuristic generation will bring a great fruitful result by studying not only by studying from the book is knowledge but but practically fundamentally intentionally institutionally and imaginingly not only these things they provide it a great intuition to us they gave us insight of mysticism our mystic our spiritualistic attitude for our culture civilization custom language is available in the form of our manner style standard talent skills on which our present prime minister is enforce enforcing and stressing upon strongly for bringing a great revolutionary and visionary change in our nation builders all kind of people whether they belong to any class caste color creed sex language whether they are men women male female old aged young men children or another kind of persons those who feel themselves they are patient those who feel them they are only the students those who feel them they are only the customers they are also the great valuable resourceful persons of our society but they must understand our human values they must keep understand the value of our culture and civilizations our all starters of the religions in our country they spread it out this message as gautam buddha who started buddhism mahavir swami who started jainism Radha Ram Mohan Rai who started Brahm Samaj Dhyanand Saraswati who started Arya Samaj Swami Vivekananda who started Ram Krishna Mission in the whole world 
it was really a great collective and collaborative venture throughout the world which was celebrated as the human mystic task so everyone should be inspired motivated and encouraged by such persons they were not only the persons but they were multi dimensional personalities of their field they knew everything they exist today with us now here with us always in the form of the sunlight in the form of moonlight starlight while feeling the presence of blowing the winds while feeling the blows of the sound then we can feel their presence we are having their existence and images with us so this imagination power we are to put into bringing a betterment and social upliftment definitely certainly we can bring a great change but we must live with nature we are to be natural we are to be common general and simple as much as we can but our thoughts should not be common automatically and ultimately ultimately these thoughts change into the realities as there were two great critics plato and aristotle these two persons those who are known as the most wisest person of the world they explain in their words they described it as idea creates the creation and second one who was his disciple aristotle he explains that imitation is the power imitation has the power to create the creation so both they are right on their own stand because they were the two sides of one coins they have their different notion but on their notion they were true and real plato in which period he was he addressed the people for creating the things but aristotle who was in his time in his place he admired the people for imitating as a child who takes birth from the womb of mother ultimately he knows the experience of tom and mom same ideas addressed by william wordsworth who says a child is the father of man a child and in the form of infant a child in the form of an infant in the womb of mother he or she knows all kind of changes that comes in the mother so every thought every idea that is being generated that is being operated that is being developed in the womb of our earth that will come on this earth one day after the supreme development their ideas in the form of in the same form of similarities and resemblances the ideas comes out from our mind and they are experimentally shows their presence and applied not only applied but they are implemented in the right direction for the righteous cause for the upliftment of the different persons personalities for the betterment upliftment of our society nation family and our own families so for the indian citizen they should get up early in the morning they must be self inspired they must have self confidence for getting the soul power tonic which is available in the form of nature nature which can never leave us alone while being alone it inspires us it provides us everlasting soothing effect of our mind and heart we should never go away from it 
about which Sir William Shakespeare spent a lot of time with nature, and he was a great test philosopher who was known as the king of literature. Every person of literature, every scholar and student of literature who is studying English literature, he cannot leave. He cannot be apart from the reading of William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, who studied his internal body organs, or his, or his or internal organs are in the form of reading, writing, speaking, listening, all were inside with him always, not pen and paper. But his mind was the true pen and paper. His mind was the true archaeologist, historian, physician, economist. So he was not only a poet, but he was the multi-dimensional, multi-sided, multi-faceted, who wrote a number of poems in the form of English literature. He write about the person who get married. Let me know to the marriage of true minds, but he want to say that let me to the marriage of true hearts. How shall I compare thee? Not marble, nor the gilded monuments. He appreciates, admires his friend in the form of written words. These written words in the form of poem that he inscribed and prescribed in the form of poem. Everyone who will read, who will go through the literature, he will remind that there was an extraordinary, uncommon personality in this world who set us, who gave us a great, great platform to show the remembrance. So there are many similarities between the thoughts and ideas of Swami Vivekananda, William Shakespeare, John Donne, John Keats, John Milton and William Wordsworth. All these were not only belong to their specific field and particular field, but according to time, place and action, they changed their level and brand and they came up on this earth in the form of experimentalist, inventor, innovator for starting the different type of missions. Even 